As Chimamanda Ghazi Adichie once said, we teach girls to shrink themselves. You can have ambition, but not too much. You can aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you're reflecting the man. Expected to aspire to marriage, I am expected to make my life choices, always keeping in mind that marriage is the most important. We raise girls to see each other as competitors for the attention of men. We teach girls that they cannot be sexual beings in the way that boys are. At 17, my mom didn't have much support for going to school and getting an education. In the fourth grade, her mother would tell her that she needed to work in order to help with the bills and to care for her other 12 siblings. My mom would bust tables, cook dinner, and find whatever work she could. It was a hard life, she would tell me. Era una vida difícil. Following her brothers, she came to America at 17 to live with her father, who left 12 children in Mexico. She had high hopes. Knowing the struggles of life without opportunity, she thought that America would be different. As soon as she arrived to her father's house, she told him that she wanted to go to school. He replied, with school isn't for girls. Oh, you need to pay rent, so you need to find a job. Her anger motivated and pushed her. She found a job and moved out six months later. A pressure wasn't much different in America. Schlater went on and met a guy, my dad, who had the same view of women, but in some ways it was worse. He would tell her he would say hurtful things and bring women down. He would expect to come home to a perfect house, not fully realizing that my mom was working her ass off. She tried going to school for a degree in teaching, finally the opportunity she'd been looking for for years. She got pregnant and my dad made her quit, threatening her if she did it. He took her opportunity away from her. My mom later went on to raise six kids by herself, never failing to teach us about the importance of an education and independence. There is no such thing as being too ambitious, Brianna. I took her advice. Hearing her story had helped me in shaping mine. I was encouraged, supported, and loved by my mother. She became the most important person in my life. When I was young, I had developed a passion for school. I wanted to go to college and make something out of myself. I had big dreams for myself, but I too felt the pressures of being a woman and knowing that I was just going to have to work that much harder in order to get ahead. And that's not even including my race. So that's what I did. I came home from school, sat down, and practiced my times, tables, division, and reading. My dad would tell me to get your head out of the clouds. What makes you think you can get in, into and attend college? With my mom at my side defending and helping me, I pushed through it all. I got on the A honor roll every single year. I passed all my classes and tests. In fifth grade, I even was the only eight honor roll student there. My mom was there, cheering. I had aunts and uncles and cousins and family members telling me that the teachers only think I'm smart because I can write my name. You can't even be that smart. You're a girl. And why should you even try? No one will take you seriously. Achievement after achievement, I overcame these obstacles. I proved to be the role model for my younger five siblings. And now, here I am at the University of Minnesota studying chemistry in hopes to be a pharmaceutical scientist. I'm fully aware that there will be more obstacles that are coming my way. With my mom's advice, echale ganas, I know I have to push through and hold my head high and succeed. Education, specifically for Latina women, is at times difficult to obtain. Many factors contribute to this problem, but despite the obstacles, college graduation rates for Latina women are increasing faster than any group of people in the United States. I believe that through determination and programs to help this cause, those numbers will continue to rise to fair equality and representation in the education system and the workforce. My mom got married at 20 years old. She had met my dad when she was 16 and he was 17. They stayed together because she was afraid of what divorce would make of her. She didn't want the scandal of divorce to ruin her family. She grew up in the Catholic Church and no one in her family had ever gotten divorced. Divorce was frowned upon in the Catholic Church and in her family. Being married was an honor, and it, once you're married, you have babies, and that was the role of the woman in my family. Growing up with my mom as a single parent, she raised me and my sister to believe to get married and have kids. My sister and I both agreed to get married once we were ready to get married. My grandmother was not happy about that. She wanted us to get married while we were young so that we can provide and stay with our husbands forever. I, for one, want to study and travel. I am not ready to get married, and I feel sad when I hear about girls who think that all they're good for is marriage. I feel like nowadays, people get divorced so easily because they're just not ready. Marriage isn't an easy subject to deal with. You have to be prepared and ready and know yourself. I feel like once you give yourself a chance to grow and discover who you are, you are more able to be ready to get married and settle down with somebody forever. And divorce nowadays is not a scary option. 
Divorce is actually a very common option nowadays, which is not frowned upon anymore. I feel like nowadays people want to wait until they're older to get married so that they give themselves a chance to grow and become the person they want to be before they are ready to get married. Up, I admired my mom. She was a hardworking, dedicated, and strong woman. I wanted to be like her. She is a person who pushed me to do the best I can do. She would say, Aprovecha que tú sí puedes tener una educación. Yo quise, pero no pude. Then, I realized how lucky I was. I had all the opportunities that she wanted to have. She also told me, Katy, tienes que encontrar un hombre que te respete. And then, I found out her life story. Growing up, my mother watched my grandmother go through an abusive relationship. She was a scared little girl. She learned to see it as normal. When my mother got married at the age of 19, the story repeated itself. She would stay home, taking care of the kids and the home, while he was with another woman. People would tell her stories about the different woman he had been with, but she only listened and didn't do nothing about it because she was thought and was expected to follow the social norms. She had to stay with him no matter what because that's what men do, right? But no, that's not what men should do, she told me. She said after raising three kids on her own, she learned that it wasn't true. Women and men can be equal. That if she went through it alone, anyone could. She told me to learn from her stories. She taught me to be proud of my culture, that not everyone was the same, and that education was important. So, I always tried my best because I knew that I had to take advantage of the opportunities given to me. I went to South High School, where I made great people with similar stories, all of us fighting to make a change. I was part of the student council and became vice president of the Latino club. I also accomplished to perform in front of an audience by being part of the dance team. My parents pushed me to be independent, and after four years of hard work, I graduated with honors. When I saw my parents' proud faces, all the hard work paid off. I became aware that I wasn't part of the social norms that had stopped my mom from making her own decisions. I was making a difference in my family, and that I was going to be part of the 80% of Latina high school graduates attending college, and the first one in my family. I didn't know what to expect. I knew it was going to be hard, but there was no one to guide me. But I'm here, and I am dedicated. I am a Latina woman, and I am breaking social norms, and I will become successful.